good shot on this thing? Yes. Well, here it is, the moment of truth. Here's where we find out if all the time, the sweat, the money to charter this ship and these submersibles to come out here to the middle of the North Atlantic were worth it. Don't push too hard, Anatoly. Oh, don't. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you just sunk the sub. You just you sunk just it. You just killed us all. <laughs> Man. We've been counting the number of times Josh says, He's our first AD, and he says, all day long. So we counted him. 967. 967. And Lynn Hockney, our choreographer, has created a piece called the Titanic Shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes. Ready, guys? Join in. Are we here? Are we going to do it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. This is high tech. The chain. She gets but paid millions. This is Scott Two, three, and... <laughs> Where are you going? And it's, it's interesting, because there's a different relationship between... Excuse me. Between me and um, uh, me and Jim and some other people. You want to take it from the story, just so we all know where oh we are? All right, all right, all right, all right. That's how we lost our first, our first okay, fortune. That's okay? how we lost our first fortune. Oh. <laughs> and even when I'm nowhere near water, I still wear my decor. Decades before decor was even invented, people still thought of decor. That Martin, he's crazy. I like that man. Here we are in the Titanic makeup room, and the first step in making up the first class women is removing their beards and mustaches, which are stored on the wall so that they can be returned to their owners at the end of the day. Broadway thrills to a new motion picture, little realizing the months of effort by thousands of workers that went into the making of these two hours of entertainment. Come with us to Hollywood. The studio is a beehive of activity. After months of research, the final draft of the scenario is written. The casting office engages thousands of players. Costumes are designed, 
and miles of materials are used in their creation. Blueprints are drawn for the settings. Machinery hums in the huge mill, and a thousand and one other important details are carried out before the big day when production actually begins. Then, we find ourselves on a soundstage where Cecil B. DeMille, the director, is making a last-minute survey of the set. Er, uh, Mr. DeMille, if we're not too presumptuous, would you mind explaining just what you're doing with those gadgets? They can then start to lower one end and just sink the whole thing. Oh, my God. These big hydraulic ramps. That's the theory. Now, no one's ever <laughs> done <laughs> this before. They keep telling me it's going to work, Is it like but... like a one-shot deal? Or <laughs> no, it can't be, because we have, have so, much, be we have so much coverage to do in here. We have them when they first come down, so we'll be in here for two or three days. You know, this isn't a fantasy. This is history. We spend thousands and thousands of dollars on research. We comb the museums of the world. All right, now you people, you're seeing these men who are leaving you, perhaps for all time. They're your fathers, your brothers, your husbands. Let me see that in your faces. Come on now, work yourselves into, into the emotion of such a scene. The making of a picture of such large dimensions as Titanic is not the work of any one man. The director only guides the many geniuses that are under him. And uh, I hope in Titanic you think that the work of these many minds that have given up so much time and energy to bringing back this wonderful story, this astonishing love story, meets with your Approval. B! 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 that spell? <laughs> Watch your final height so you don't get into the flags behind Jonathan's head. Otherwise, it's more work for Rob, even though I don't care. Stand by, everybody. Because we know we have money, we have lots of money left over. Everything's going like butter, everything's just smooth Constantly as can be. Line. Yeah, it's just. I've never been on a job where everything just went like clockwork like that. It's amazing, right? It is, it is startling. I, I don't even know what to do. I mean, and Fox doesn't want the money back, you know? They've already allocated it for the movie there. They don't want any more cash back. So orphanages, they get to, they get to benefit by our good, our good fortune. That was good. That was, that was a lot better. But this time, use more of your throat and hock it back. And... I did. I did. Just a little bit of spit, you know? <laughs> the caterers have been looking for their whisk. They have, actually. Have they? they have, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too bad. I am the Cracker Jack man. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, listen up. Right up. Yeah. What do you think? Should we do another one? On Monday, go we have there. good <laughs> weather. <laughs> We have good weather. We will be on either the bow or the A deck promenade port. Scene 72, the bow 94, 96, <laughs> which will come right back here to the port boat deck. See, 161, 165. Okay, boat deployments, Murdoch, where the passengers, etc. If we have inclement weather, we will start with scene 80 on stage two which is Kate joining Julio for the rendezvous for the party. <laughs> then we'll go down to 292. Kate comes down and rendezvous with Heaven Titanic. OK, we all clear. Now, Jim, all the boats here, not to go the side. Listen, Rose, I trust you. Go! <laughs> I'm gonna 
found anything on Jack. There's no record of him at all. No, there wouldn't be, would there? And I've never spoken of him until now. Here we are on the bridge of the set of Titanic, and down here there was just quite an altercation. Jim got so upset with a cast member that he turned on his freezing rays and shattered him. But that wasn't enough. He's now scattering the remains all over the forward well deck. Start the swimmers swimming. Closely enough, you may even find yourself on board. Same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. 